What's up everybody, Camero here, and welcome to part 79 of my How to Make a Pokemon Game tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to be looking at how to make an EV IV screen. First, we're going to edit our scripts so that way the EVs and IVs of our Pokemon are displayed in the summary screen. Then after that, we're going to update our menu backgrounds, graphics, and then after that, we're going to test it all out. So with all that said, let's get into it. So what I have here is a base version of Pokemon Essentials V18.1. This hasn't really been changed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run the game and I'm gonna take a look at the current summary screen. I've given myself the uh, the starter party, the, uh, the one that you can access through debug. And what I have here is a Pikachu at level 20. We can see some info here. We can see its attack and defense stats. We can't really see anything about the Pokemon's EVs or IVs though. We can see his attacks and then we can see these ribbons. I've always found the ribbon screen to be kind of useless or unnecessary in Pokemon Essentials games, so what if we replaced it? What if we made this page display the EVs and IVs of our Pokemon? Well, thankfully this is actually very easy to do. So let's close our game real quick right here. Now let's go into our script editor, and then let's type in Control shift f to search all the scripts. And then let's try searching for page five. Now you can see here, there's this method here called def or draw page five. This is defining draw page five right here. And draw page five is where we would draw all of our ribbons. What we could do though, is we can actually modify this method to instead of displaying ribbon information, display the EV and IV info for our Pokemon. There's actually a tutorial on how to do this, the EVs and IVs in summary by Zarday already on Relic Castle. The link to download this, or the link to this will be in the description. Uh, I've actually gone and I've already done this and I've modified the EVs and IV screen or the ribbon screen to be an EV and IV screen for my game. And I have all of the code right here and I will put the link to download this in the description as well. What I've done is I've made my own draw page five um, method here that we can actually replace the existing one with and we can start displaying some EV and IV info for our Pokemon. So the link once again for this will be in the description. This is for Pokemon Essentials V18. If you want, um, another version of this for V17 will be available in the description as well. But let's focus on V18 for now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit Control A and copy all of this. And then I'm gonna comment out the old draw page five method. We can do this by typing equals begin up above, scroll down to the end of it, and then do equals end below. So now the old draw page five method is commented. We actually commented a little bit too much there. So let's go like this. There we go. I accidentally commented out this method here, draw selected ribbon. We're not really gonna need this method, but just for safety's sake, let's keep that. Now the old draw, pay fi draw page five has been commented out. Let's hit enter and paste in everything that we copied. So you'll see here at the very top, this is by Zarday and edited by Thundaga for V18. The reason I had to edit it was because there are some methods that um, for V17 don't really translate well for V18. For example, the old version of this was calling PB Pokeris, which isn't really a thing in V18. So instead you have to do at Pokemon dot Pokeris stage equals equals. So, you know, just some small little tweaks. Anyway, this should be working already with our scripts. There are a couple other changes we're going to need to make, particularly for the graphics now, but let's just go ahead and see how it looks in game. Let's boot up our game real quick. Now let's take a look at our Pikachu once again. Let's scroll on over to the fifth page. Look at that. So as you can see, the background doesn't necessarily play nice with this info, but we can see the EVs and the IVs of our Pikachu. We can see the nature as well, attack and defense, or <laughs> attack and speed. And we can check this info for all of our other Pokemon. And if we go and, you know, let's go beat up a wild Pokemon, we can see the EVs update. This is gonna be pretty cool. Now, let's, let's, uh, let's destroy this Rattata real quick, shall we? I think I'm gonna hit him with Electro Ball. Okay. Hey, let me get a one shot. That's pretty nice. So now that we've defeated one wild Rattata, if we go to our EV screen, we will now see we have one special attack EV. That's kind of interesting that Rattata gives us special attack, but hey, I'm not complaining. Now my Electro Ball will be a little bit stronger. <laughs> anyway, so 
let's go and update the graphics in our game now so that way the EV screen looks a little bit better with all this information. As you can see, it's still using the old background from the ribbon screen. What we're gonna need to do is also update all of the art in the previous screens so that way this ribbon icon is changed. And thankfully, I've actually already gone and done this as well. So, what you'll see here is I have a collection of resources here that I have made where I just took the existing screens and added EV up there in the top right instead. You can edit these however you want if you are a better sprite artist than me. Uh, odds are that you are because I'm not the greatest sprite artist, but this will be our new background for our EV IV screen. It'll display EV IV up here. Then we'll see like health and attack and such and the corresponding information. So let's go and put these into our game. One thing that's important to note is that the format and names of these will be different if you're doing this for Pokemon Essentials V18 versus Pokemon Essentials V17. So let's go ahead and copy these. Let's go into our V18 uh, folder. Then we want to go into graphics, pictures. Then we want to go into summary and they will be right here. BG1, BG2, BG or underscore one, underscore two, underscore three. So what we can do is we can paste all of our new ones in and look at that. Now BG underscore five looks like this. BG underscore four looks like this where it just says Eevee in the top right there. So this is gonna look great in our game. Real quick, I'll show you an example of how it looks in V17. This is Pokemon Summit Trials right here, a game that I made many years ago. And the way that this works is instead of being BG underscore one and BG underscore two, they're in the graphics pictures folder and they're at the very bottom and they're summary one, summary two, summary three, so on and so forth. There's even a summary egg. Make sure not to miss that one. Anyway, let's go back to our V18 project right here. So graphics, pictures, summary, and then all of these. So the link once again to download these will be in the description as well. And then you can tweak these however you want. Fun fact, let me show you something real quick. If I go to my Pokemon stuff, I've got a lot of different Pokemon projects, and I go to graphics, pictures, inside of Pokemon Paradox, I worked on an update for Pokemon Paradox to add the Eevee IV screen, and I did a little bit of editing myself to add a little bit of like a space background. I think these are pretty cool looking, right? Add some space back there. Uh, <laughs> I've got the old ribbon screen here as a backup, but here's the new IV screen. Look at that. Pretty snazzy, right? All right. So... That's enough about V17. Let's go and run our V18 project once again, now that we have the new graphics. Here we go. I'm back in the game. Pokemon Pikachu summary. Look at that, up in the top right, it says EV. Now let's scroll on over and take a look at that. Wow, look at this. Now we can see the EV and IV information for our Pikachu. We have zero EVs in all of our stats, except one in special attack. And then we could even go and modify our Pikachu through debug. We can go to stats, EV, set EVs. We can give them, I don't know, 60 attack EVs. You know, we can give him 30 defense EVs. We could set his IVs. That way his attack is, you know, 31. Let's give ourselves like a pretty good Pikachu here. Modifying the stats through debug to make them insanely strong. Gotta buff up that special defense. Bada boom, there we go. Now our Pikachu's looking a little bit chunkier. Let's go into our summary and look at the updated EV IV info. We now have our 31 here, 31, 31. We can see our 60 and 30 in the attack and defense. And I think this is a bit more useful. Whenever I'm playing through a Pokemon game, I don't really care too much about the ribbons myself because in Pokemon Essentials, there aren't really contests uh, yet. <laughs> Wink, um, nudge, and um, there's not really much need for that fifth screen. So, what if instead we showed the player some more relevant info? Now, I think that this is a bit more useful. We can see that our Gyarados has pretty good uh, health e uh, IVs, not EVs. And uh, we can see that our Diglett's not too great. And we can go and catch more Pokemon too. Check this out. If we use Debug, and I'm sorry, Chansey, but I'm going to have to delete you. Rest in peace, Chansey. If we use Debug to give ourselves another Pokemon, it will randomly generate IVs for that. So we can go to Pokemon, add Pokemon, and we can give ourselves something cool. Like let's give ourselves something like a Rayquaza or Rayquaza, depending on uh, your pronunciation. I feel like I pronounce every Pokemon wrong though, so that's fine. Oh, that was kind of loud. All right, now we've got ourselves a Rayquaza. Let's go take a look at his stats. 
He's newly added to the team, and he's got very good attack, very good speed, not so great health. But you know what? I'm down for high attack, high speed. That sounds pretty good to me. Anyway, I think that about does it for this tutorial. Um, once again, the link to download all of these resources will be available in the description. If you wish to go and make some changes of your own, I would recommend getting comfortable with the draw page 5 method. I just spent the afternoon messing around with some of these methods, you know, changing some colors, changing some of the text that's displayed here. So yeah, you can make some tweaks all that you want. I um, set up some values here that you can tweak to move the uh, value or the X value of the different EV and IV columns here. These are all set up here. So yeah, modify these, make any tweaks that you want, get comfortable, get scripted and go crazy. Anyway, that about does it, that about does it for me for this tutorial. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Be sure to subscribe on YouTube, which you are watching this on. Be sure to follow me on Twitch, where I stream sometimes. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you all for all your support. Once again, you guys, if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really bad at ending videos. But anyway, I'm going to end it here now and say to you, until next time, I hope that you all have a good one.